She's got so much gas now, she's flooded. All right, then. Shut it off. Choke it! Choke it! Oh, why didn't you choke it? Oh, this thing don't need choking. It needs junking. You know we can't afford a new tractor. Well, we could almost buy a good one with what we spend fixing this thing up. Like that McCormick Deering I showed you in the catalog. Never mind that. Just watch you don't flood it again. The carburetor, all right. Guess you better drive to town see if you can get another one. Okay, Dad. You'd better go sit down in the shade. You're all tuckered out. Yeah. I'll get back as soon as I can. All right, son. Tractors in the whole wide world. Well, I'll be darned. Well, here it is, Charlie, the W-12. It's the baby of the International Harvester family. It is built for small farms up to 125 acres or so. It'll plow six acres a day. That's more than any horse you'll ever own. More than any former horses. Low first cost low upkeep, and simple to operate. And while we're at it, I want you to see some of the general features that every McCormick Deering tractor has. Charlie, all McCormick Deering tractors have valve and head engines for a greater economy. They all have a triple power outfit, one at the draw bar, one at the power takeoff, and one at the pulley shaft. And they burn the various types of fuel, from gasoline to tractor distillate. Every McCormick Deering tractor, even this little fellow, has a big air cleaner, a big oil filter, positive heat control. And when it comes to accessibility, say, McCormick Deering's unit-built construction makes it possible to remove any major part easily and quickly without disturbing any other major part. That's real accessibility. Hmm. They sure thought of everything. Can you get rubber tires, too? Sure, you can get either steel or rubber on every McCormick Deering wheel-type tractor. For instance, what's this? There you are. Whew. Say, uh, Bill, this magic stuff makes me sort of nervous. You sure you got everything under control? You know, safe? Don't you worry a speck. This isn't black magic, it's practical magic. And you haven't seen anything yet. Okay, W-12, trot out there in the field and park a while, will you? Boy. All right in there. O-12, you're next. Wait, what? What? 
A practical magic, Charlie. This is a sister of the W-12. See her hook skirts? We'll put those on for orchard use. To protect the low-hanging branches and fruit. Her narrow tread, short wheelbase, and low height make her ideal for handling in cramped spaces. Why, she'll whip out 20 acres a day with a tandem disc harrow, Charlie. That's a lot of orchard. Sure it is. And with these big tires, she'll ramble along at better than 10 miles an hour if you've got any hauling to do. But we're just beginning. All right, my dear. Skedaddle along with your little brother. Okay, Bill. Agreeable, ain't she? That's the way they're built, Charlie. The whole McCormick during families like that. Easy to handle. Hmm, they must be. <laughs> Okay, in there. Turn off that four mall twelve. Say, where's all these tractors coming from, Bill? Practical magic, Charlie. And there's lots more to come. Oh, this is one of those row crop farm walls that'll do everything but the family washing. Yeah. And the name farm wall hits it about right, too. It'll plow, plant, cultivate, harvest. Run your silo filler, pull your wagon, operate your thrashing outfit, do anything and everything you've ever heard of. The Formal 12 has more different machines built expressly to fit it than any other tractor in the world. 27 altogether, and all of them quick attachable. Boy, that's a lot of equipment. And Charlie, look at here. If you want a wide front tread, you've got this. Or if you want a single wheel, we give you this. And it's the same with the rear end. If you want a 79-inch tread, you've got it. Or you can shift the center of draft right or left by simply setting the wheels in or out like this. And don't forget my rubber deal. In fact, Charlish is the greatest all-purpose tractor in the world, and I know what I'm talking about. You can get a hydraulic lift if you want it. Or is she on the drawbar? How'd you like to see with your own eyes? Well, uh... Now, what were you fixing to do before I came, Charlie? Well, I was going to finish plowing this West 40, if I could have started old Jonah over there. Okay, Charlie. Here's one little girl that isn't afraid of your plowing job. Here, at 12 take Charlie's plow down a couple of furs for him. And show him how easy it is a farm all the way. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show you some real magic now. Don't seem like she's big enough for the job, Bill. <laughs> you just wait and see. Watch close now. Holy smoke, look at that. <laughs> magic smoke, Charlie. Boy, I'll say it's magic. But now watch. Okay, F-12, turn up a little sound for us. Boy, look at her pull. Say, that's the slickest work those 12-inch bottoms ever did. And what did you say about her not doing it? Whatever I said, I'll take it back. <laughs> that farm old 12 is the biggest little outfit I've ever seen. Right you are, Charlie. But let her rare for a while because we've got lots more to see and it's getting late. Come on back to the truck. Hey! Rush out that form all 20. Hey, how many tractors you got in there, Bill? Well, it's just like I told you, Charlie. I've got a tractor for every size and kind of farm. No matter what you need, I've got it. And this F-20 is the most famous of the lot. This is a tractor that made horseless farming possible. The International Harvester Company has made over 400,000 farm all since 1924. And many of the first ones are still going strong. And there isn't any job that the row crop farmer can't do with either the F-12 or the F-20. And with either steel or rubber tires and these adjustable tread wheels. Unless he happens to be a big time operator who wants still more power. In which case... In which case, he wants the farm all third. All right, scram, fella. Here comes your big brother. Watch 
this? A bigger farm wall? Yep, the largest of the farm walls. And this Husky outfit will pull three 14-inch bottoms just like you'd pull a toy wagon. And we'll do it more economically than any other tractor its size in the world. And Charlie, like every other farm wall, it comes with either steel or with rubber. McComic Daring offers by far the widest variety of direct connected tractor machines in the entire industry. There's a machine for every single farming operation and a farm all to operate it. I'm learning something every minute. Now, of course, for certain types of farming, some folks prefer a conventional four-wheel tractor. And we've got a full line of them. Hey, all reliable, get on out here. Ram! Okay, Mr. Corey. <laughs> well, I'll be done. Nothing to it, eh, Charlie? <laughs> Gosh, I'm having fun. <laughs> what will this one do, Bill? She'll do the work of eight to twelve horses, Charlie. She plow twelve acres a day. List up to twenty. Seed thirty-five. Harrow better than seventy. And do dozens of other odd jobs. On 20 to 25 gallons of fuel a day. She will, huh? Eh? Yep. The 1020 is one of the most popular tractors ever built. Over 200,000 of them sold. And you've got power at three points. Here. Here. And here. And your choice of steel wheels or rubber tires. And all the other McCormick during features I told you about. They sure build what a man wants. Right up on your hind legs a minute, will you? Okay, Bill. God, look at that. Now here's what I wanted to show you. This single piece mainframe holds all mechanism in rigid alignment and provides a dirt proof oil bath for every moving part. And remember, Charlie, there are 34 anti friction bearings, too. All right, come on down. Okay, Bill. Hey, don't none of these tractors fly, do they? All right, my friend. Start over then, park with the rest of them. Next! Make it snappy! What, another one? <laughs> sure. I told you McCormick Gearing had a tractor for every size and type for him. The W30. We'll do the work of 10 to 13 horses on diversified or grain belt farms of 200 acres and up. And we'll do it all on 25 to 30 gallons of fuel a day. She got a four-speed transmission, too? Sure. And in high gear on the Matic tires, she'll hit 10 miles an hour if you want to do any road hauling. She's a husky brood. And as gentle as a lamb. Well, get along, W30. Okay, Bill. Let's get this parade moving faster. W-40, you're next. I never dreamed there were so many models. <laughs> Hang on to your hat, Charlie. They're coming fast. Meet the six-cylinder W-40. Big brother of all the four-wheelers. It'll smack out 50 acres a day with a big field cultivator and do every other power job on the largest diversified or green belt farms. Looks like it could move a house. Yeah, and do it cheap, too. It's ideal for the big operator who needs lots of power on either steel or rubber tires. Oh, here comes a diesel. Come along, my high-powered friend. We'll see you later. Here she comes, Charlie. The famous McCormick during diesel. The first diesel-powered wheel tractor made in America. She'll do everything the W-40 will do. And on only 15 to 25 gallons of low-price fuel a day. Say, that's a neat-looking engine. And as simple as ABC. These diesels are foolproof as a wheelbarrow. And they're as easy to crank as a gas engine. In fact, they start on gas, then automatically switch over to diesel fuel. Hey, what's this coming? The International Harvester Company builds the only crawler tractors on the market in which every part is easily accessible. See these plates, Sally? 
You can serve as a steering clutch and brakes without tearing down a vein. Boy, that's handy. There's more anti-friction, dust seal bearings and track tractors than any other tractor built. In short, they're designed for the small operator to take it where the going's toughest. Look. Watch the way those tracks take hold. Boy, that's balance. Good night. Here comes another one. The in-between track tractor, built for medium-sized farms where there's heavy pulling to do. It's like the T-20, only bigger. With a flexible six-cylinder engine with replaceable cylinder sleeve. What, another one? Yes, sir, another one. The TD-35. It's like the T-35, only it's got a high-efficiency four-cylinder diesel engine for burning low-price fuel. And remember, Charlie, international diesels are the only diesels that are easily cranked by hand. That's a big advantage. And look at that comfortable seat. Oh, boy, it looks like an armchair. Holy smoke, look at this proper cup. Big six-cylinder T-40, Charlie. It'll replace 16 to 20 horses and mules. Plow 30 acres a day, harrow 100 or more, all the power any farm will ever need. Must be great for road building and industrial work. It is. Contractors say this T-40 is a lifesaver on a big variety of heavy operations. Look! It's the great TD-40. Same as the T-40, but powered with International's giant four-cylinder diesel. Climb up here, Charlie. We're going for a ride. Well, where are you taking me, Bill? To the big prize. And remember, Charlie, these tractors are built complete for the largest tractor manufacturer in the world. The International Harvester Company. And the Harvester Organization has had more than 100 years' experience in farm equipment manufacturing service. There stands the whole McCormick Dilling line, the greatest parade of farm power in the world, a size and type especially designed for every farming and industrial need. And everything I've told you about them is a result of years of experience and exhaustive tests under typical operating conditions. Bill, this is the most excitement I've had for years. Charlie, look. What well, is missing? It's F-12. Where is she? There she is, Bill. Fight. Charlie, do you see what she's done? She's finished plowing the whole field. By gosh, you're right. And look at her. Now she's heading for the barn. Yes, sir. And look at that. They're all heading for the barn. Come on, Bill. a new carburetor for three weeks, and that'll make us way late in our plow. Oh, that's all right, son. Bill's doing it for us. Bill who? Doing what? What you talking about, Dad? Well, I'll be... Well, I thought that field was plowed. Why, Dad, you've been dreaming. Dreaming? Sleep.
sleeping. Sleeping for years. Come on, son. Where are we going? We're going to see Bill Stevens. What for? He's got something we need, and we're going to get it. <laughs> 